Hi everyone, here I have a battery pack from an old scooter, well I say an old scooter, it's a few years old. Um, I actually missed the scooter, and I think the kids would like it if I got the scooter back as well. Um, yeah, something happened to the scooter, and basically what it was is that one cell had been, had, well, was shorted or whatever, I don't know, one cell had become faulty. So I, I identified the cell. I replaced the cell as you can see here, not a, not a particularly pretty job, but I did it. Um, but it still wouldn't work. And the problem is, is that the BMS, for whatever reason, doesn't give out the correct voltage. So even though I determined that the cells were okay, the BMS said otherwise. Since then, I've kind of left the battery pack and it's got damp and now it's got a little bit rusty. So of course the rust doesn't really matter, as long as the uh, resistance is still low within the metal, it won't make a great deal of difference. Um, but yeah, I want to, um, well in this video I want to just see what's going on really, and I'll just hopefully show you what's going on here. Well, to be honest, I don't know what's going on myself, but I'll find out, I'm sure. So, I don't know if you can see the... Hey, where's the back of this gone? Anyway, I don't know if you can see the the um, the display there, but this is going to be critical to understand what's going on. So, what I want to do is just check the voltages to start with. So, bank one <coughs> of three, three batteries, four point one. Okay, that's fine. This one, yeah, that's fine. So they're fully charged. This one. Yeah, 4.1, yeah, okay, that's good. This one? Yep, yeah, that's good. This one? Mm, a little bit low, but okay, we could get away with that one. 4.13, okay, that's good. 4.12, okay. 4.12, 4.12, 4 4.14, okay. So, the actual batteries themselves, or the cells are holding voltage, and uh, they're correct. So the cells appear to be good. Now, the problem is, is this here. Um, if I check the voltage of the battery pack, I think it says something silly from what I remember. Yeah, 39.71, which is not right. See? 39.71. It's not right. Because we've got one, two, three. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got one. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in parallel. And that should be 41 volts or something. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, what's going on with the circuitry, I, I really don't know. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how these BMS things work, so I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I suspect that... Maybe something's... I, I just don't know, really. So I did clean this up one time, and I did try to find out what was going on. Um, but it was inconclusive. So what I've done is I've just bought, just bought a new BMS that's got a heat sink on it, which hopefully should last. So it's 10 cells, 30 amps maximum. Um, you know. 30 amps maximum. So... Um, 42 volts times 3 is 120. Yeah, so that's plenty. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. So I'm going to disconnect this BMS. And um, I'm going to solder this one on. And hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, it's not as hard as I thought. I've already got one off here. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of do it like this. Now, I am doing this with a little bit of caution because this thing's live. Um, it's not enough to, to electrocute, but it is enough to burn. I just need something to sort of ease these up here. Yeah, it's enough to burn. That's it. If I just sort of leave that up like that, we should be able to take them off. 
And I have been burnt by a lithium battery pack before. Yeah, I thought that might happen. I've been burnt by a lithium battery pack before and it's not nice. Um, yeah, so I don't particularly want to be burnt again. So what what kind of happens is that you short something together accidentally and then it gets red hot. And it gets so hot that it burns straight through your, your skin. So I had it one time where one of these shorted, I touched it and it burnt a slice like a knife. Um, but a lot more painful than a knife to be honest. So I'm a little bit cautious. The sooner we get this disconnected though the better. Mm. Yeah this is not really, it's not really going to plan. Nevertheless it has to come off anyway so. If I damage it, okay, never mind. Yeah, so one of the issues is that this is 42 volts and they're not, you know, it's not a weak battery. There's an awful lot of um, current that could be delivered from this battery pack. As is probably expected because it's a you know, it's from an electric scooter, which are quite powerful things. Okay, so we've got... <clears throat> that needs to be cut off. I suppose I could get some better tools to do this with as well, but... Never mind. Interesting to see how this works, though. I take it that's the... Uh, <coughs> The, uh, what do they call it now? Like a thermistor? Like some sort of heat sensor so it can tell if the battery pack is getting too hot. This is one that I put on my solder, which incidentally is now the hardest and most difficult to get off. Oh, I don't need an that can facilitate this. Yeah, I think I'll. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just pause the recording and restart it when I've done it because otherwise it's going to be a very boring video. Okay. So those things are off. This is really good glue. It's like a silicone. It's like a rubbery sort of glue. It's very good. It's really strong. Okay. We almost have the BMS off. Something's trapping it. What's trapping it? It's stuck on something. Oh, it's glued, is it? I don't know. Let's have a look. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, that's the thermistor. Okay. Let's take the sellotape off here. Hmm. So the the new the BMS has probably got a thermistor in it, has it? Yeah, it has. It's got a thermistor in it. So this one can just be pulled out. There we go. There's the thermistor. Have I damaged it or? No, I haven't actually. So there it is. Yeah, like I said, it's a little bit of a shame that I didn't, I wasn't able to find out what's going on with it but it does look damaged obviously it looks corroded and all that so it, it could be anything then again it's laminated as well though so that's quite quite good nevertheless there's a new one um you know, it's quite a lot smaller isn't it so yeah this one probably does look like it's better quality actually and look at the tabs here. Anyway, I'll try it and, and I'll see what happens. So, I probably need to snip these off as well, whatever these are. There's one for presumably uh, extracting power, if that makes sense, and there's one for charging or giving it power. I'll snip these off. I'll probably be able to use them for uh, the next battery pack. So there it is, there's the old one off. 
suppose you can actually get a new one of these as well. So there's the battery pack. Yeah, that's not very good there. The soldering that I've done is not very good either. And I should definitely have not left it in a damp environment. I put it in a shed that's not really sealed properly. 2500 milliamp hour. Hmm, that's quite a good battery, really. Yeah, look, there's damage here. Not been, it is a good quality battery, but it's not been designed perfectly. I mean, look at this here. Just, I think it's breaking apart, look. All shattered. May as well come off that. Okay. So there's the battery pack. Now let's have a look at this. <coughs> so this cost me about nine pounds fifty. So these are the the charging um, wires. I think. Yeah. What else have we got here? This is the actual BMS itself. So that's to, that's to detect the temperature, see if there's some sort of anomaly that shouldn't be happening. Let's check this here. So this goes in here. Oops. That doesn't feel very good. Is that right? Have I done that correctly? Oh, there we go. Just a bit tight, that's all. Yeah. There's power... What? P minus and C minus. P minus and C minus, what's that? B minus. Hmm. I'm going to have to find out how to use this. B minus, P minus and C minus. There's, I don't know if you can see much there. But the idea will be that each one of these batteries, and probably in order, although I'm not 100%, I'll, have, I'll definitely have to have a look at the, uh, you know, the um, manual thing for this, but probably what happens is that this one goes to zero volts, this one goes to 4 volts, this one goes to the 8 volts, 8 volt mark, this probably goes to the 12 volt point, oh no, 12 volt point, this one here, this will go to the um, 16 volt, so we'll go to 20 volt, 24 volt, 28 volts, 32 volts, um, 36 volts, and 40 volts. Probably that's how it works. And that's how it charges. And I imagine that. Hmm. I mean, so that's charging. And I imagine that somewhere along, along the lines, one of them goes to ground with a a wide terminal like that and the other one goes to the you know the actual plus voltage which is 42 volts yeah I definitely need to find out how this thing works um, but okay that's gonna be the end of part one